that's where you can abide and dwell. Whether you do it consciously, whether you're doing it, it's ha it's all the time. We are seated with him in heavenly places. It's yeah. all the time. It's happening. We just become more aware of it and we become beneficial of it. But it's happening all the time. So, you know, I used to want to know what was going on and what 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 was what do you want me to do? And, you know, I wanted, what's my mandate and what am I supposed to be doing and all this stuff, you know, and because I was still driven by a, an old covenant mindset of works and obedience and duty and obligation and all that stuff. And I just relaxed. As I realized how much I'm unconditionally loved, I relaxed and I just dwell in the, his presence, in the light of his face, in the heart to heart intimacy. I dwell there. So there's this constant flow of truth, revelation, experience, intimacy, whatever, all the different names for it that's flowing all the time. Now, sometimes, yes, I consciously turn into that and I engage it consciously because it's great because it's great to be in that intimate place of being surrounded by love and light and truth and love. And it's amazing. And, and it's good to experience that cognitively at times, as long as we don't make the cognitive experience our goal, because we have to have, we have to know by cognitive experience, otherwise we won't believe. I do have cognitive experiences at times, but most of the dwelling, abiding in his presence is in the spirit not in the soul or the flesh it's in the spirit so my spirit is constantly dwelling and abiding in god's presence and that wonderful place of abiding is what brings the peace and the joy and the love into my life flowing all the time which what reveals the father's heart going back to our the first question it was all about well how do you have this wisdom to know what the father's heart is it gets infused when you dwell and abide there he constantly reveals his heart to you. And you just instinctively flow from his heart rather than what I used to do. I want to go and get my mandate for today. You know, and it was like, and yeah, did God give me the? Yeah, he did, because he's gracious and he's merciful because I was still a child, if you like. And I still didn't know him that well. So I still wanted to know what he wanted me to do. Now I dwell in his presence and I live my life in a way that is living in love and joy and peace and being at rest and at working every day in every situation that amazing love that he has, you know, and therefore in any situation, do I have to sort of go and do this SOS prayer to God? Oh, God, help me. I need to know what I'm supposed to do here. No, I instinctively know what to do. And the more intimate I am, the easier that flow is to just be. I just need to be me in a situation. Whereas before I needed to know what to do in a situation. You know, and that is such a different place. Now I feel I'm at rest. Before I thought I was at rest. But actually, I was still needing to do. Now, I just need to be. And everything flows out of that being. And most of it, actually, is just me being me. You know, I don't, I don't need to have a whole, oh, I've got to do this, I've got to do this, this. And someone says, okay, someone says, oh, will you pray for me? Oh, God, do I have permission to pray for this person? It's like, no, I just need to be me. And if I feel how to pray for that person or engage that person, then I just have to express that. You know, I don't need, oh, how should I pray? What should I do? You know, I, well, I need to pray in tongues for five minutes to tune in. <laughs> All of it was like this work that we, and part of that was, well, I didn't want to get it wrong and I want to get it right. Now I just need to be instinctively me in that situation and i find 
that sometimes I say things or I do things or I hug someone or whatever it might be instinctively without having that oh, I got to know what I'm supposed to do here because I know if I'm me I'm going to be expressing the father's heart the me he made me to be not the me me that I might have been or might one other people want me to be or anything else the he that he made me to be which is coming from the revelation of the father's heart that i'm experiencing in that intimacy of dwelling there and abiding there it is so much easier than i ever thought yeah. and all the other stuff that i used to do and i am still doing in a in the spirit you know, in a multi-dimensional way, I'm still just expressing me in it. You know, I don't need that great list of instructions anymore. I just don't need it. You know, and life takes on such a joyful position because I enjoy being, I'm being joy being alive. You know, I enjoy being in the garden. I enjoy being in the workshop. I enjoy being. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.